Demonstration question 2-2 is asking us to solve for unknown numbers, but in a far more complex way. At the beginning of the year, a business had assets of 140,000 and equity of 100,000. By the end of the year, the business had total assets of 210,000 and liabilities of 85,000. During the year, the business had new contributions by owners of 15,000, revenues of 162,000 and expenses of 149,000. Provide the following and answer the questions that follow. So we've got some blank boxes here that we have to fill out, but in order to do that, we have to analyze the information using the regular format. We're going to start by putting in the known numbers using the information that was given in the question. We know that at the beginning of the year, the business had assets of 140,000 and equity of 100,000. By the end of the year, the business had assets of 210 and liabilities of 85. During the year, the business had new contributions by owners, 15,000. Where do contributions by owners go? Under equity, because contributions by owners increase owner's capital, which increases equity. They also had revenues of 162,000. Revenues are used to calculate profit, which is used to calculate retained earnings, which is used to calculate equity. So revenues increase equity, 162,000. We also had expenses of 149000 Expenses reduce profit, which reduces retained earnings, which reduces equity, so negative to equity. Now we need to look to see what information are they asking for. They're asking for beginning liabilities. They're also asking for ending equity. They're asking for profit and they're asking for dividends paid. So now I know that dividends have been paid, so I need to put a box here. There's an unknown number right here, dividends. Could I solve for these other numbers, the change in assets during the year and the change in liabilities during the year? Absolutely, I could. I haven't been asked to, but I could. So let's solve the easy things first. The easy thing will be the rows. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Assets minus equity equal liabilities. Liabilities, 40,000. For the closing, Assets minus liabilities equal equity. Equity is therefore 125,000. I'm going to have to use the column to calculate for this unknown number. I know I'm going to take equity. I'm going to add in the contributions by the owners, add in the revenue, subtract the expenses, and then I have to subtract this unknown number to get 125,000. So 100,000 plus 15,000 plus 162,000 minus 149,000 minus X is equal to 125. Let's solve that lower on the page. If I add X to both sides, I'll get rid of the X on the left hand side. And if I deduct 125,000 from both sides, I will get rid of the 125,000 on the right hand side. We can now eliminate some of the numbers. Negative X plus X is equal to zero. Positive 125,000 minus 125,000 is equal to zero. I now have a very basic equation. What is X equal to? So X is equal to negative 3,000. Those $3,000 are going to be subtracted from equity. Let's move up so we can solve for the remaining unknown numbers. We can do this by recognizing that I have to add in the difference and this is an equal sign. Add in the difference and this is the equal sign. So assets are 140,000 at the beginning of the year and 210,000. If I take 210,000 and subtract 140,000, that equals positive 70. If I take for liabilities 85,000 and subtract the 40,000, that is equal to positive 45,000. And if we recalculated the row for during, we would see very quickly that 70,000 is equal to 45,000 plus the summation of these four items. I'll continue with this question in the next video. Thanks for watching.